As we come to appreciate more and more the exquisiteness of the total design, a wisdom begins to develop which recognizes that no part is any better and no part is any worse than any other part. Each part is just different from every other part. The play goes well when each person plays her or his part perfectly, not greedily wishing they could move into somebody else's role, just content in doing their own dharma. In the little villages I visited in India, where living the dharma is still a real force, you don't see so much of the kind of ambition and envy that we're used to here. You find the sweeper totally fulfilled in being the perfect sweeper. That's his part. He's not even saying, look what a good sweeper I am. He's just sweeping as perfectly as he knows how, and he's expecting the shopkeeper to be the perfect shopkeeper, and the prime minister to be the perfect prime minister. He isn't busy wishing he were the shopkeeper or the prime minister. He knows that's not his dharma. He's living out his own dharma and expecting everybody else to live out theirs. Now, to some degree, that's just an ideal, and it only works perfectly when everybody is living in the spirit. But the interesting thing is that when I've been around people who are harmoniously playing their parts that way, I've often felt in them a kind of contentment that isn't very available to us here in the West, a kind of quietness inside. Some of the desperate striving is relieved. We can see that there are ways of inhabiting our roles without making quite so much of them. It's really not necessary to take our lives quite so personally. The man who knows the relation between the forces of nature and actions, Krishna says, sees how some forces of nature work upon other forces of nature, and he becomes not their slave. Your body, your mind, your personality, that's all just part of nature. It's all just lawful stuff happening. <laughs>